Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. Morning. Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. Happy Saturday. What are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about being a teachable person. Being a learner. I love it. And join me if you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, I want to learn today? Yep, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. That's why you tuned in. Come That's right. Right? Aw. Our scripture today is in Proverbs 9.9. 9. It says, instruct the wise and they will be even wiser. Mm. Teach the righteous and they will learn even more. Love it. Now, all throughout Proverbs, yes. all throughout Proverbs, we read about the wise man mm -hmm. being a good listener and learning as they listen even more. Right. Yeah. And alternately, we also read all over Proverbs, while a foolish man scoffs and or is offended when people try to teach them something or, um, you know, share new knowledge, which ultimately, and it's not me, it's in Proverbs, <laughs> this isn't the word of God, it makes them or keeps them a fool, keeps them tied up in foolishness. And I read a, a quote from uh, Henry Thoreau, and I I love this quote. You know, it says this, it says, um, how can we remember our ignorance, which our growth requires, okay. when we are using our knowledge all the time? It's good. And it made me think, how often do I sit or stay in a subject that I know so as not to reveal a lack of knowledge in an unfamiliar area or a topic for fear that I'm going to appear dumb or uneducated? How often do I have to be the one that's sharing the knowledge with you or sharing the knowledge with the masses <clears throat> so as not to appear that there's any lacking area or a weak area. Mm -hmm. But watch this. If I don't ask questions or inquire about things that I don't know or understand, yeah. I'm never going to learn and grow beyond the knowledge that I already possess. Yep. And I and it made me think as I was reading that scripture, but how often do we miss the opportunity to grow right. and to learn because having to admit we are ignorant on a given topic makes us feel unintelligent mm -hmm. in the eyes of those around us or in the eyes of people maybe in our presence right. that we esteem or mm -hmm. admire to mm -hmm. grow like. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the reality is we have to get okay and with vulnerability and saying, oh, that is a subject area that I know nothing about. I would love to learn and grow in that area. Share with me what you know. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't, it's not equivalent to not knowing. It's not. A, it doesn't make you stupid. You know great amount of things. Yes. In this area over here. Well, we can't be expected. We can't expect ourselves. There's a lot to expect. Right. Them, but of, You're not AI. Right? <laughs> That's a frightening thing. Right? <laughs> go on. Go on. And so as I was That's actually something right there. I didn't even know what AI was. I was like, I'm not an AI. <laughs> I I had to be explained to what AI was. Yeah, I mean, I don't think about it. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I do. And then I was like, wait, what? Hearing topics, I'm like, I, I, I that's something I had. No, anyways, yeah, yeah. There's all kind. Oh, please, like I, I already had a neat, a neat techno technological meltdown. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. yes. Like, <laughs> sorry, I interrupted your words. Good thing I was your word, dear word. Good thing I was able to get in the car. <laughs> Can get it to move. <laughs> Keyless entry tripped me up. So come on. <laughs> I'm not okay to admit when I don't know something. I'm not. But it wasn't. It was something I had to like get to. Speaking of admitting, admitting that we don't know something is actually the first step in becoming further educated in that thing that you don't know. Yeah, and it should never be seen as a weakness or a lack of being smart. Yeah, and actually, how do you? How did we get? to be these amazing, smart, knowledgeable people that we are sitting here today. Because two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, yeah. a week ago, we were being taught something yeah. that we hadn't known when we went into it, the end of that subject. Yeah. A teachable spirit is one that understands that it doesn't know all and it seeks rather to grow in what it doesn't know. So it good. seeks new knowledge. And I, I, I stumbled upon this amazing story because I think it's very fitting um, when it comes to feeling vulnerable, allowing ourselves to feel vulnerable, 
And especially in light of positional authority or, a, you know, position with somebody, right? Like yeah. people that we esteem, it's like, well, we esteem and want to know and, and grow like them, but we also esteem them so much that I don't want to appear dumb, right? So there's like a, a positional issue. Does that make sense? Oh, it definitely does. Let me let me share this story. It's, it's Philip and the Ethiopian. Okay, well, there we go. It's Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch, and it's found in Acts 8, 26 through 31. I'm just going to read from, just going to read it. It says, Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south, to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went, and there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopian, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah. Mm. And the spirit said to Philip, go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked this. Mm. Do you understand Mm. what you're reading? It's good. And he said, how can I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. See, what, I, what struck me when I read that is that the Ethiopian eunuch was a man of great authority and was a royal official with a high rank, quite possibly positioned higher than Philip, the yeah. apostle. Uh-huh. And yet he did not shy away when Philip yeah. asked him if he understood what he was reading. Now, come on. Have you ever like had someone like question you and, and you almost feel challenged? Uh-huh. But this was not the case. This, the Ethiopian eunuch did not feel challenged. He didn't feel like by Philip's question. He was kind of like, well, duh, no, I don't. And how am I supposed to learn it if I don't have somebody who does know it that can share that wisdom with me and help me understand it? He needed someone to guide him in the understanding of it. And he was not afraid of being vulnerable in that moment, being in that moment, the lesser knowledgeable in that situation. Yeah. And I think it's important that we be really careful not to allow ego and pride or fear to have a place in our lives if we desire to go to the next level in wisdom and understanding. And oftentimes, God's going to place people in your lives. This is very clear in that story that God sent him to that Ethiopian eunuch who actually was possibly at the time not even a practicing Christian. Mm -hmm. And he he was becoming more knowledgeable about what he was reading. And so God sent Philip to it. The rank of the rank or the status of teacher versus student should not stop you and I from learning and growing in new knowledge. Let's be teachable people. That's so good. I um when I was reading over your notes and knowing what you were going to talk about today, what rose up in me was um just being a teachable parent. Especially when our kids got to those teenage years. And, you know, it, the world is way different, looks way different than when I was a teenager. You know, the world now looks so different. Like the the, the technology and the fact that they have phones and, and you know, it, that's the big joke. Well, we didn't, I never had a cell phone in high school. I didn't even have a cell phone until I think my daughter Katie was even born. Like it's, it's only been most recently. <laughs> um, but anyways, I, I was thinking about that. With this technology and stuff that happens, we can tend to feel disconnected. And I know I went through this with what my teenage son is feeling dis- a disconnect happen because I didn't understand the things that they were into and doing. Um, most like apps and different things like maybe Snapchat and TikTok and YouTube was like a huge thing where I don't know about you. I don't know. We've talked about this before, so I do know. But our kids would watch YouTube shows about other people playing video games. And I, when they first started doing that, when my son, I would catch, you know, I would allow him to watch these videos. Um, he would watch a, a video about Fortnite, an, an actual person playing. I'm like, why are you, why are you not playing in the game and learning it? Why are you watching yeah. somebody else play, wait, what? <laughs> It was very confusing. It is. And I honestly I said to Jason, I think that is the dumbest thing I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah. But it was his world. It was it was my son's world. It was 
It was what he was into. Was all the other kids were into it. This is what they did. Yeah. So I had to consciously make a choice and say, I'm going to sit down and watch this YouTube show with you. I want to know why is this so interesting. I, I watch him and watch him and watch him, and I would be like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But the more I got into it. I, I started to recognize things and, and I started to understand the lingo and I started to see his interactions with the video itself and I, I, and I stepped into that world. And I honestly became teachable in that moment. I learned the Snapchat. I learned about TikTok. I learned about all these things that I really honestly had no desire to know about um, or care about, but he cared about it. And, and now, you know, obviously, my all of them are all of my teenagers are, at the time, and they're all older now. Um, we're all into this. So I, I, I feel like it made me more of an effective parent because I decided to be teachable. Yeah, Is that a good example? I don't know. <laughs> Rather than holding, I mean, we're old school. Now. <laughs> like, if the struggle is real, it's like you're like, wow, I am officially <laughs> that a person that doesn't. Yeah, like, I don't get it. <laughs> like, my big one is those memes out there. It's like, who made it? Oh. Like, I, I didn't understand. When memes, when memes came out, I was like, why is that funny? Well, and, and no, there's lots of them. I'll go, I don't, I don't get it. Well, and how did you come? Like, my kids thought that was, the, they're like, who cares who made it? And I'm like, because why am I spending my time watching something that someone I don't know made? Like, I don't even understand the point of it. I'm really not self-obsessed. I really didn't. I don't get it. I didn't understand. I don't get it. I didn't understand it. And so I'd be like, oh, my gosh, now do you know that person? And who knew that literally within a month, all these memes about parents that don't get it, who made it? That became the big thing. That is the new meme. That was when he would say that. I'd be like, oh, that's a really, that's so funny. Who made that? Do you know them? I want to know in the comments if he feels really late. I want to know if he's ever had his kids. It's so true. <laughs> Bye, mom. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Who made it? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> it's so true. Do you need me to pray? I do. Okay. So, Father God, I thank you and I praise you that um, there is, we live in a world that is just filled with, that the knowledge of the, is vast. I thank you for your word. I thank you that every time I dive into your word, the teachable spirit in me walks away having learned something greater and new and that it, that there's always revelation to be found in your word, in our world, in a relationship. And I pray that right now over everybody listening, over everybody viewing, that we would aspire to be teachable people who are not afraid to vulnerably admit we have a weak subject or we don't know something so that we can grow in the knowledge of that and become even far greater in those areas and be used by you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a great Saturday. Bye.